If you are a woman voting in Washington, you have a woman from Alki to thank. She led one of the largest suffrage clubs in Washington, campaigned nationally for suffrage, and was credited as one of the most influential women in the state's fight for the vote. Her name was Catherine Smith. Before moving to Seattle, Catherine lived in Colorado. In 1893, Colorado granted women the right to vote. These women used their new rights to pass legislation, including setting up separate courts for children. This made a deep impression on Catherine, who thought that women were a positive influence in politics. Catherine lost her right to vote when she and her family moved to Alki in 1904. In 1906, noted suffrage organizer Emma Smith DeVoe began campaigning in Washington. This reignited interest in suffrage, and in 1909, Catherine joined the cause. Catherine traveled to Olympia to meet with senators and convince them to add suffrage to the ballot. When one senator asked her if it was fair that the suffragists kept sending waves of women to talk to the senators, she responded, well, it's a little like politics, isn't it? Catherine founded the Alki Suffrage Club in June 1909. This club would grow to have over 200 members, making it one of the largest clubs in the state. She also wrote a regular column in the Seattle Star advocating for suffrage. Although she had many supporters, Catherine was also a target for those who opposed suffrage. The fire and brimstone Reverend Matthews denounced her and other suffragists as female freaks. Catherine fired back at the newspapers, calling his remarks coarse, discourteous, and unpatriotic. She even warned him that his holier-than-other-men attitude may prove to be his undoing. In the fall of 1909, Catherine traveled to Hawaii to recover from an illness. Rather than spend the time relaxing, Catherine collected signatures from the women of the territory advocating for suffrage. She was also credited with convincing the mayor of Honolulu to support the cause. On November 8, 1910, the voters of Washington approved the suffrage amendment. When Votes for Women, Washington State's pro-suffrage magazine, ran an issue proclaiming victory, they put three important leaders on the front page. Catherine was front and center. One journalist wrote of Smith, Someday, when women vote in Washington, and we have women governors, and women councilmen, and women chiefs of police, maybe we'll build a statue in Pioneer Square to Mrs. George A. Smith and other Seattle suffragists. Catherine never did get her statue, but she should be remembered, along with the countless other women who fought for suffrage in Washington. Thank you for watching. As a nonprofit, everything we do is funded by our generous donors and members. If you want to help us preserve our history, please consider donating or becoming a member through our website.